Hi and welcome to yoga. My name is Sue. Today's practice will be a full body stretch only on the floor, no standing up and down. So all you need is your mat today. Have a seat comfortably, whatever that means to you. You can sit up on the edge of a pillow for more support. And then wherever you are, root down into the sits bones and lift up through the crown of the head. As you do that, relax the shoulders down your back, nice and tall. And then maybe shut down the eyes or find a spot on the floor in front of you to gaze at. And soften the eyes. Bring one hand over the heart, the other hand over that hand. And begin to slow the breath by extending the length of the exhale to match the length of the inhale. Notice the rise and fall of the chest. Release the hands, flutter the eyes open. Interlace the hands behind the back and then bring the interlaced hands to the right side, tuck that elbow in. Drop the right ear to the right shoulder and slightly lift that left ear up to breathe into sensation on the left side of the neck and shoulder. Switch the gaze as you turn to look at that right knee. And then release the chin to the chest. Hands come to the other side. Hug the left elbow in, left ear to left shoulder, and slightly lift that right ear. Slow the breath and send it into the right side of the neck, top of the shoulder. And then drop the chin to the chest, release the hands, bring them back to your lap. Inhale, lift the gaze. On the next inhale, shoulders lift to ears. As you exhale, Loop them back and down. One more time. Inhale up. Exhale back and down and then reverse. And release. Cactus the arms. Inhale, lift the sternum, lift the gaze. Exhale, elbow toward elbow. They don't have to cut, touch round the back. Inhale, open the heart, press the wrists back. Exhale, forearm to forearm or towards each other, round the spine and hug the belly in. Inhale, open. Exhale, close and round one more time with your breath, no hurry. After your next full exhale, release the arms down. Inhale, reach the arms overhead and hold on to the right wrist with your left hand. Inhale, press up tall and lengthen. Exhale, side bend to the right. Reach to the left fingertips. Press down into that left sits bones and then maybe gaze slightly up toward the sky. Inhale, come back to center, switch sides. Exhale, up and over to the left. Inhale, lift all the way back up. And on the exhale, release the hands down to your lap. 
Bring the hands in front of you, make meatballs with the wrists, the fists, roll the wrists, take some circles. If you've been on the computer today, this can feel really good. It's a nice break for the wrists. And then reverse directions. Hitting all the spots, all the way around in your roll. And then shake out the hands. Release, twist to the right, bring that left hand across and kickstand the back hand behind you for support. As you inhale, lift up tall, and on the exhale, twist from the belly, no pulling. This is a gentle twist. The gaze can stay in front of you, or you can start to turn the head and neck to join the party. If you draw the low belly in, maybe there's a little more space to twist. On your next inhale, rotate back to center. And when you're ready, come to the other side. Right hand drapes across the thigh. Press down into the left hand behind you. And on your exhale, twist. Slow the exhale to match the length of the inhale. On the next inhale, come back to center. Bring the soles of the feet to the mat. Hold behind the thighs. And we'll pause here for a strength pose. A little bit of strength along with the stretching to balance the body. Shift back slightly. Lift the chest, shoulder blades down the back, boat pose. Keep a slight tuck in the chin and focus on hugging belly button in, navel to spine. If you'd like to make this a little more challenging, you can come up onto your toes, but you don't have to. Or you can inhale, lift the right foot, exhale, lower, inhale, left, exhale, lower, and you can take it side to side. If you want to challenge yourself more, option to lift both feet, keep the chest lifted. Maybe float the hands, palms are up. And when you're ready, roll all the way down, hold behind the thighs, tuck the tailbone, and lower slowly onto your back. When you arrive, hug the knees into the chest. Give them a squeeze. Little rock side to side. And then lower the left foot to the mat, straighten the right leg and hold behind the right thigh. Keep the fingers soft. And rather than pulling on the leg, Simply press that right heel away. And when you do that, you might notice an opening in the back of the leg. Bend the right knee. Reach inside the leg, hold the ankle, or maybe the outer part of the foot for half happy baby. Left knee tracks over left ankle, and that right knee draws under the right arm. Release the grasp and hug that right knee in. Straighten the left leg. With the left hand, reach across and twist over to the left. Bring that right arm out to the side. If 
this isn't comfortable, you can place a pillow or block under the right knee, or you can bend both knees and stack the knees for a gentler twist. And then find a spot for the neck that's comfortable. Your gaze can be toward the knees or straight up, maybe across toward the right fingertips. Do what feels good, that's what I always say. Wherever you are, come back to center, hug both knees into the chest, squeeze them in, and take a little rock side to side to recenter. Come back to stillness. Drop the sole of the right foot, straighten the left leg, press the heel away. Gently hold behind that left thigh and soften the palms. The energy is through that left heel rather than in the arms or shoulders. Bend the left knee, reach inside the left leg to hold the shin or maybe the outer edge of the foot and draw the knee under that left arm. Half happy baby. Release, bring the right knee in. Extend the, sorry, the left knee in. Extend the right leg and then reach over with the right hand to twist to the right. Maybe there's a block or a pillow under this knee or you can bend both knees and stack them. Whatever feels right in your body today. Take one more deep breath here. And then when you're ready, take your time. Come all the way back to center knees, come into the chest, give them a squeeze. And extend the legs long on the mat. Palms face up. Gently tuck the shoulder blades one by one under the back and close the eyes. Your practice is complete. Now it's time to rest. Let go of the breath. Surrender the entire body into the mat supported by the earth. And I'll leave you here to enjoy final relaxation. Shavasana.